Hey everyone, it's Eva Migajono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. Last time we caught Rayquaza finally, and in this episode, we're gonna try and catch a Latias now. Be uh, wrong city. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what you're gonna want to try and do is I'll show you exact show you guys exactly what you should do. Uh, go into your Try and get a Pokemon that's higher than the levels on the routes that appear. I believe the highest Pokemon that appears on this route is 14. Uh, so let's see what I can get here. Uh, I think Relicanth will do. Uh, buy a slave. Alright, there we go. Okay, so. What you're going to have to do is have repels, have a Pokemon below level 40 at the front of your party. And of course, repel wears off now. So, uh, the best place you're going to want to do this is where there is a building or the beginning of a route, with a building right there, and some grass. Which is the perfect area right here in Route 110. Uh, what I'm going to do here is put my repel on, and instead of running around in the grass, what you do is get the acro bike. Stand here and do this. And do it for about 30 seconds or so. If nothing appears, go into the house up there. And, um... And come back out and go back in. Because the way Latias works, it's a roaming Pokemon. Um, so every single time you go into a building or change routes, uh, it changes routes as well. So basically, it's just based on luck. And when you're hopping here, you aren't actually using steps on the repel. So this is probably the best way to try and catch this thing. So it looks like I'm not going to be able to find it now. So I'm going to enter this building here. It's good because um, when you enter that building there, you don't actually get off your bike because it's a cycling road. So, yeah. All right. At last, it took me about, ooh, about half an hour of just me hopping around here trying to find this thing. But I finally found it. It's just Latias. Um, so yes, we picked the red one uh, at the start of the after game. And this is what we get, Latias. If you pick the blue one, you'll get Latios. Um, there is a way around that though. You can get both if you are in possession of an Eon ticket. But I've already gone over the Eon ticket and how I actually can't use it. Um... So I'll only be showing the fight against Latias. Uh, so yes, this is essentially what your Master Ball is for. So, um... Because, like, the, it's the only roaming Pokemon in Hoenn. Did I get past the balls already? I did. It's the only roaming Pokemon in Hoenn. Um... And it's the only real reason why you should be using your Master Ball. That's the only reason why. That is it. Because of this thing. So... Let's finish up this LP by catching a Pokemon in a Master Ball. Yeah. Alright, so we have Latias. Uh, they make a small herd of only several members. They rarely make contact with people or other Pokemon. They disappear if they, s if they sense enemies. Alright, so pretty cool Pokemon, I guess. Um, you might have noticed that I mentioned this is the last episode of Emerald. Yes, indeed it is the last episode of Emerald. I ultimately decided there's no point in me showing Steven because for one, I'd have to be grinding for this one battle, which is a waste of time. And two, I just, I don't think that it's what, it is Leo here. I have continued my studies in the art of concealment, but I have been too successful. No one has been able to find me. My success makes me lonely. Like smoke, I disappear. Bear it well. Wow, that must have been like a phone call that we were supposed to have for this LP to finish up. Um, but yeah, like, as I was saying, um, there really is no point in me showing the fight against Steven because for one, Steven is ridiculously overpowered. Well, not really. He's in the mid-level 70s. Um, actually, I guess while we're here, I could probably bring up his team. Uh, and like, I am, as you can see, still in the, uh, high level 40s. So, I'd be grinding for like 20 levels at the very least for one fight. And that might take me a while to do because I've been pretty busy. So, there's no point in me showing that battle. However, I can bring up his uh, 
profile here. For Emerald, you'll be fighting a Skarmory on level 77 with Toxic, Spike, Steelwing, and Aerial Ace. Uh, a Claydol on level 75 with Earthquake, Ancient Power, Light Screen, and Reflect. Uh, a Cradley, which is the uh, other fossil Pokemon, with conf on level 76 with Confuse Ray, In Green, Ancient Power, and Giga Drain. Uh, Armaldo on level 76 with Ancient Power, Aerial Ace, and Water Pulse. I don't know why you teach it wa Water Pulse, but whatever. And Slash. And then he has a special attacking Aggron, which is the weirdest thing ever. It's Earthquake, which is a physical attack. It's level 76, by the way. Uh, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, which is special in this game. Solar Beam and Thunder, which are both special attacks as well. And his strongest Pokemon, which is probably by far the hardest Pokemon to beat, it's Metagross, level 78, holding a Citrus Berry with Meteor Mash, Earthquake, Shadow Ball, and Psychic. So, that is his team in Emerald. Yes, you can fight him in Emerald. I might, like, walk up to him so I can show you guys where to battle him, I guess. But that's all I'll really be doing. Um, but yeah. Anyway, what you're going to want to do here is while we're in Slateport City, come into the, uh, shipyard here. Hello. Are you here for the ferry? May I see your ticket? We flash the ticket. Perfect. That's all you need. And where would you like to go? Lily Cove City. All right. So, yes. Let's go to Lily Cove City. What a fun journey. It's Scott! Well, hi hi, Jono Jono. Something's come up, so I have to disembark, but I am glad to see you. Congratulations, League Champion. It's a place I like to invite someone like you. It's the Battle Frontier! What's the place like? You'll understand when you see it. I spoke with the ship's captain about this. The next time you take a ferry, you should be able to sail to the Battle Frontier. Okay, Jono, I'll be waiting for you at the Battle Frontier. Now, we all saw the boat take off in that cutscene. Where does he walk to? I don't understand that. It's ridiculous. But, um, I believe there are a couple of battles we can... I probably should have got rid of Cat's form. Uh, I believe there are a few battles we can have on this ship, so I might as well just show them off, I guess. I mean, it's not like we got anything else to do, so... Yeah. I feel a little silly, but we'll show you our loving dovey power. Wow, how gay. How incredibly gay. Like, seriously, that is like the ultimate gay. Okay. Two love discs. No, you no way, no. Goodbye, I hope this kills both of you. This probably won't, but Earthquake will. God damn, what? You're faster than me, okay. Wow, that hit like a whole two damage. Good job. Oh, oh, you. No! Come on, Armaldo. What are you kidding me? Why is it whenever I say a Pokemon is crap, I just get utterly screwed over by both of them? I don't understand. That is. Oh, are you kidding me? Why did that. Oh. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, wonderful. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I guess. Oh, right, we set that confusion. You're both gonna die now. Whatever. I, uh, I, I really couldn't care less about this, to be totally honest. But, um. Yeah. Let's affect Skarmory, and now you're dead. Alright, thank you for dying. Good night. Alright, and now you guys are both dead. I hope you go fall in the water or something like that. I don't know. You know what? That battle pissed me off. Stupid freaking pricks. Alright, if you talk to this bed... Talk to this bed. What, are you drunk? After you've healed, you'll notice that you've landed in uh, Lily Co. That is all you need to do. That is seriously all you have to do. The rest of this ship just has a bunch of trainers in it. Uh, I don't think there are any... Um, any... Like items in here, but look who it is! It's Mr. Briny! Welcome aboard, Jono. They made, me, they made me the honorary captain of the SS title. You can call me Captain Briny now. You know, I retired once before, but when I saw this majestic ship, let me just say, it stirred my sleeping soul as a sailor. Sail, sail, sailor? God damn! Anyway, uh, I guess this final episode is yet again another massive hint to what my next LP is going to be. We're on a boat, I guess, so. Yes! Lucky me for throwing a bunch of freaking hints and stuff at what the next LP is going to be. 
All right, so here we are in Lily Cove. Go ahead and talk to this lady here again. And now you'll see we can go to the Battlefront here. So you have to start off in Slateport, go to Lily Cove, then from Lily Cove to the Battlefront here. I don't know why they did it like that, but um, whatever. So here we are, the Battle Frontier in Emerald. Uh, the only way you can get through this place is by talking to this guy! No, I'm just kidding. The Battle Frontier, yeah, I've long dreamed about a place like it. Uh, this place is not in Ruby and Sapphire, it is only in Emerald, the Battle Frontier that is. Is this your first time here? Please sit this way. The front lines of Pokemon Battling, welcome to the Battle Frontier! For a first time visitor, we issued a Frontier Pass. It's, a, it's for use at all facilities in the Battle Frontier. Here you are. Alright, so you can only battle people using this uh, Frontier Pass here. Well, get through the Battle Frontier, that is. Well, if it isn't... Well, if it isn't Jono, you came out here. Oh, Mr. Scott, sir. Good day to you, sir. What is he there, boss? I guess he is. It's great to see you here. It really is. I hope you'll take your time and explore everywhere. Naturally, I hope you'll also experience the pure essence of battling. I also have my quarters here, so feel free to visit if you have time. That is all he has to say to us, which is the stupidest thing. But um, anyway, now that we're through here, I won't be battling anyone, but I guess I'll, I guess I'll just show you guys around the Battle Frontier what you can do here. You notice that your trainer card now also has a Frontier Pass attached to it. You can look at your regular trainer card by just doing that. Um, by and then, or pressing A on it, or using that there, and then just pressing B to check out your Frontier Pass. This here is a map of the Battle Frontier. Essentially, this is the seven, di seven different facilities you can go to. Pretty similar to Pokemon Emerald like it was in my LP there. Uh, right here is the Battle Tower. So you KO opponents and aim for the top. Uh, here's a Battle battle Dome. Keep winning at the tournament. Um, here's a Battle Palace. Watch your Pokemon battle. Your spirit will be tested. Uh, battle Arena. Win battles with teamed up Pokemon. Your guts will be tested. Aim for, it's the Battle Factory, aim for victory using rental Pokemon, your your knowledge will be tested. Battle Pike, select one of three paths to battle, your luck will be tested. That, I believe I did that in my previous Emerald LP. And the Battle Pyramid, aim for the top with exploration, your bravery will be tested. That's going through uh, like a, a, an area where, it's like a maze I guess, so. Yeah, there are seven different symbols you can earn, you can earn silver and gold symbols. Um. So yeah, uh, and once you've got that, you can get like a gold trainer card and stuff like that. So yeah, it's kind of cool. So essentially, um, if you really want to 100% complete this game, you have to, you know, complete the Pokédex and get a, like the highest possible card you can get at the Battle Frontier. I don't think there are items you can get around here though. Um, so, there's not much to do here, I guess, which is kind of a shame. Well, what do I mean? There's not much to do here. There's heaps to do here. It's just that in regards to actually getting items and stuff like that, there's not that many. Um, at least I don't think there's even any at all. But, what? Oh, hi, Jono. Oh, Jono, hi there. It, this is Anna! Listen, listen, you have to hear this. I had a Pokemon battle earlier, but I lost it at the last second. Oh, it burns me up. That's what you have to say. Screw you. See, look, no items. That's what I mean. Oh, what's this? That's a palace there, I think. Battle Arena, sorry, jeez. Item, no. Okay, fair enough. Item! No, you're a guy. What? This guy's an idiot. Okay, so as you can see, there are a bunch of people around these parts here. No, oh, a bunch of people around these parts. I don't know why there are so many people walking around. Are they stressed or something because they keep losing? I don't know. Uh, oh, look, we can surf here. Maybe we can lead ourselves to an item. Who knows? Oh, that got us nowhere. Wow. Oh, God. I really didn't want to end the LP this way. Like, what is this? Doing nothing? Oh, what's down there? I get there, that is. Oh man, yes, this is essentially a summary of Pokemon Emerald. Me running around, doing nothing. Oh boy. What an LP though, I gotta say. I really, um, really quite enjoyed this LP actually. Like, even though I've already done an LP of Pokemon Emerald, it was just, uh, it was cool to be able to actually play it on my own cartridge this time, I guess. And, um, I guess it was just, uh, a different experience, I guess you could say. Uh, playing on the actual cartridge, recording it off of the GameCube. 
And, um... Okay, surely there's got to be a way I can get through there. Don't think so, though. But yeah, uh, actually recording it through my laptop onto my GameCube, and it's just... I guess it was pretty dang cool. Now, come on, how the heck do I get there? There has to be a way. Um, okay, I... I'm a complete idiot. I totally walked straight past where we're supposed to go. Uh, but anyway, here's where we're supposed to go. And as you'll see, you'll see here is a weird thing blocking our way. What is it? That looks familiar, doesn't it? Previous Pokemon game. Alright, let's see what I have here. Come on, I know I have. Alright, a big fat reminder to everyone that I'm a total idiot and forgot to pick up one of the most important items in this game at the very start of the game. I can't believe I walked right past it. Anyway, just fly back here to Rustboro City, come back onto Route 104, and make our way back over to the flower shop, and I believe... No, not you. Oh, we got a white herb anyway. What a white herb does is... Uh, oh, look at that. We're making this last episode eventful. Uh, what a white herb does is that basically this heals any stat uh, reduces things. That, stat reductions that ever happen to you. Alright, so the way on the power is what we need to awaken that Pokemon that we're at. Uh, just now, but anyway, so... Alright, so, uh, I guess what we just got there was Whale Whale Mapale. Uh... So I guess that might have been a bit of a hint to what we're going to be doing here, and what Pokemon it actually is. Does watering a Pokemon that looks like a tree remind you of anything from a previous Pokemon game, guys? Yes, that is right. I'm not going to beat around the bush anymore. It's Sudowoodo. Uh, this is the only... Only uh, area I believe you can find Sudowoodo. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, open up here with an ancient power, I guess. Oh, I want to catch this thing, alright. I'm actually um, attempting to complete the Pokemon. Oh wow, block, yeah, because I was actually going to escape from you. I'm actually right now attempting to complete the Pokedex uh, on every game. Well, I'm currently getting Pokemon for every single game, and I'm going to transfer them all over to Pokemon Black 2. So I guess this is only going to further my Pokedex, even though I can essentially get this in Heart Gold and Soul Silver anyway, but it's always nice to have, you know, multiple copies of each Pokemon and all that sort of stuff, so... Yes, pretty cool stuff, I think. Come on, Sudowoodo, what the heck? Pretty sure your catch rate is pretty high, so... I don't know why you're being so difficult to catch for. Holy crap, there's a lot. You know, I'm done with this. <laughs> Head in the netball. Netballs always work. Damn, what the heck? Come on, I caught Kyogre in one. Why can't I catch you in one? <laughs> this is so gay. Come on, get in the ball. Oh, oh jeez. Wow, Omaldo, you suck. Way to suck on Waldo. Alright, let's go to Skarmory, I guess. But yeah, uh, Sudowoodo is actually a pure rock type Pokemon. Which for some reason, a lot of people think he's a grass rock type. Like, I don't know where they get that from. Like, I know he's a tree and everything, but... Come on. Alright, we did it! Yay, I caught it in a netball. Oh god, not like, that, not like that's very special or anything, but... Yeah, it mimics a tree to avoid being attacked by enemies, but since its four legs remain... Uh, green throughout the year, it is easily identified as a fake in the winter. Those four legs don't look green at all. Stupid game. Alright, so uh, this is how we get to that cave uh, surfing over here. So, yeah. Let's go down here. And head over here. And here we are. Alright. Now, this cave, uh, Arte Arteason Cave, it's a pretty weird place, um, so I, I think this place, I'm pretty sure this place is only available in Pokemon Emerald, uh, well, actually, yeah, it is, uh, and it's the, it's the, uh, home 
to Smeagol. You can find wild Smeagol in this place. The only Pokemon that appears here is Smeagol. I think there are items we can get. I believe in here, um... Uh, you can get one of every single stat boosting item. So an iron, a HP up, a zinc, a carbose protein, and calcium is available to find here. You can find Smeagol between level 40 and 50 here. I'm just going to go ahead and try and catch one just for the sake of it. Uh, also, I guess, because... Pokedex stuff, I guess, but yeah. Holy crap. It sketch. It's going to sketch my uh, air cutter. Smeagol is the only Pokemon that can learn Sketch, and basically there's copies that move, and uh, it'll actually be able to use it from now on. It learns Sketch every single time it levels up. Aww, oh, damn. So yeah, as you can see, it's going to start using Air Cotter until I essentially catch it, so yeah. Uh, this thing will have the abilities of either Own Tempo or Technician. Own Tempo prevents it from being confused. And Technician actually powers up its moves below the power of 60. So, yeah, what the... Which is kind of cool. Let's try and get it in a dive ball. Uh, its catch rate is 45, so it's not too difficult to catch. And apparently I'm making it look very difficult. Come on. Maybe I should just try and catch it in an ordinary ball for once. Stop trying to be funny and just do this. That's why I don't use ordinary Pokemon balls. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is like legendary Pokemon all over again. Screw it. I'm sick and tired of this stupid game. What? I got more shakes out of a dive ball. Well, I hope I'm making this final episode, you know, entertaining for you guys. Certainly isn't entertaining for me because this is bullshit. Oh, then it gets a critical hit. Yeah, of course. Oh, hey. Come on, let's get in the ball, Smeagol. I want to catch you. Thank you. Yay. All right, so I caught three Pokemon in this episode. I'm a good guy. Uh, Smeagol marks its territory by using a fluid that leaks out from the tip of its tail. About 5,000 different marks left by this Pokemon have been found. So I guess it's, it's an artist, I guess you could say. Alright, I'm sick of Smeagol appearing in here, so I'm just gonna... What do you mean I'm sick of Smeagol appearing? Only one of them appeared. Um... Alright, there's the protein. I think they're all hidden actually, so... All hidden at different corners of this cave. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not gonna spend a million years here looking for them anyway, so... Huh? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I'm out of that place. I don't care. What are you going to say? I, I saw it. There was a sticky sort of Pokemon with a long tail up ahead. It was hiding under a boulder and it kept staring at me. Sounds like our friend Smeagol. Anyway, I guess um, that pretty much ends what we can do in Pokemon Emerald besides the fight against Steven. But screw Steven. He can go die. Um, So yeah, it was a great old PR. I really thank you guys for watching it. Uh, thanks again to Tash for commentating in the Wallace video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, LP, even though I've already done Pokemon Emerald. I really just wanted to uh, show off my new uh, recording styles, all that sort of stuff. And I just really wanted to do Pokemon Emerald again because it's one of my po favorite Pokemon games. Um, so unless there are remakes of Ruby and Sapphire in the near future, we won't be seeing Hoenn on my channel ever again. So <laughs> um, unless I decide, unless I remember there is like another thing we can do and I decide to upload another Emerald bonus video. Which I probably have forgotten a couple of things I can do, so that might happen one day. But for the time being, uh, this is the end of Pokemon Emerald, and this is the end of Hoenn. Uh, again, thanks for watching the LP, guys. Really appreciate it, alright? This is even bigger Jono. I'll see you guys next LP.